Hello, everyone. My name is Dion Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast, and we're coming to you live from round two of the Buenos Aires System Open. Yes, we got premier level X-Wing happening here in South America. My co-host for this round is... Pedro Segarra from Peru. That's right. And we're going to go ahead and start by breaking down these lists. Okay, so first, the Imperial move, uh, player is three Inquisitors. No missiles, no force upgrades, just three Inquisitors. And Rear Admiral Chiranu with Emperor Palpatine, Shell upgrades, and the title Downless. Um, for the role player, we have uh, the two B wins, the two famous B wins. That's <laughs> Grail and Stram <laughs> and Tang Nam, both with Jamin Bing. And two Y wins, the first one Dutch Vander, the second one Horton Salm, both of them with Dorsal Turret and Veteran Turret Gunner. So right off the bat, it looks like Rodrigo may have messed up his setup a little bit. He went five forward boost with this one and, and couldn't boost in here because it cut off yes. with the green. So we'll see how that affects uh, his upcoming turns. <clears throat> Let's see if the, the Rebel... Oh, well, they are backing, but I'm, they may be able to catch Chiranu before... Uh, Chiranu, the Decimator is a low ship. But they may be attempted to, to, to intercept the Inquisitors. Yes. I think with their position here, honestly, they could go after either one. Oh, Cause yes. Because if, uh, if Rodrigo's trying to do that thing where the Decimator just kind of goes down the board, they're, they're shortening the path to him yes, by, right. by cutting right. the corner. Um, we're going to go ahead and get up the Choose Your Champion poll. You got Rodrigo on the left with the in Imperials Imperial. and Fernando... With the Rebels. That's right. So go ahead, choose your champion. Uh, now, I, before we go too far, I do need to give a shout-out to uh, about the mat that we're playing on for the yes. Buenos Aires Open. Uh, this is the planet of Lamu. This is the uh, the planet where Galen Erso hides his family at the beginning of Rogue oh. One. Yeah. So in that opening where you see Krennic shuttle going through the uh, the rings of the planet? Yes. That's, that's it, the right planet. There. So super sweet, and uh, you're gonna be seeing this mat more often. It's honestly probably the my favorite mat in my collection now. Oh <laughs> yes, that's right. You're taking one. one I am. Of these. I'm taking one home. I have to say, it, I have to make sure I let them know that I'm taking it home and that I'm not giving it away because they'll ask for it. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Give it to us. <laughs> Boy, it's a very beautiful mat. <laughs> yeah. All right. So if you were at home right now, Pedro. Who would you vote for? What, what list do you think has the advantage in this matchup? I would go for the Rebels. I know what Braille and Tang and Dutch can do. Um, the Inquisitors. Um, there are a couple of Inquisitor fans back in Peru, but I don't. I I feel like they should have like um, a force upgrade or or a missile upgrade. They are just running naked, and I I don't think Chiranu is in a good spot. Perhaps if it was a lambda, when mostly you have it for for the pop, mm -hmm. but with Chiranu you, you want to to also attack. Yeah. And the rebels have a lot of firepower, so they can. Um, I have to do the, to do the math, but maybe they can take even a reinforced Chiranu. They have the the attack from Braylon for ten and, and two the double shots. double tap for the Y wings. Yeah, if they get into range one, you could you could yes. kill the decimator in a turn with some lucky crits. Because you could you would do if you got range one, that'd be four, four, eight uh, plus yes. three, three, six <clears> brings <throat> it to That's fourteen. It. Uh, fourteen plus a double tap, fifteen, six, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. You could do <clears throat> you could do twenty dice yes. theoretically. And he has um seventeen because of the shell grade. Yep. Now, I think what would be to Rodrigo's advantage is if he could get uh, only a single shot into each of these inquis Inquisitors a turn and see if he can uh, bait Fernando into splitting up his shots. I yes. think that's what he wants. Because by themselves, with, with a white evade and a force, we saw how tanky these were. If, if you guys were watching last weekend uh, at Gen Con, uh, Matt, oh, yes, Matt, there was. Matt Carey uh, took three Inquisitors to... The finals, all yes. the way to the finals. Now, a little bit different loadouts. But there was the Grand Inquisitor also. Right. Um, but one of the most powerful things we saw is the white evade plus the force yes. makes them very tanky. Um, I Maybe he's trying to surround the rebel build, which the, the Inquisitor going this way. 
and maybe he eventually banking or or maybe going. I, I don't. Uh, Chirandu doesn't want to go this way. It's going to be hard for, yep. for the decimator. Maybe he's going to bank here and uh, and maybe this guy over here and this guy's over here and it's like okay, we have surrounded your your rebels. Yeah. See the the issue with the decimator in second edition is without cards like uh, what what's that Moff Jerjerod? Yes. Y you can't. There's no reposition. There's yes. no way to get into a to change the direction. He's mostly going to do reforce all the time mm -hmm. and no reposition. Back in first edition, you could fill in an, an ending upgrade. Mm -hmm. So he has the boost. Now you can do that. The only choice is Moff Jerjerod. And now it's a barrel. All right, so start, starting to edge towards Cherenu, seeing, maybe guessing that he's going to turn in here. Yes. Because, I mean, that seems, if he wants to be offensive with the Decimator, that seems to be the play. Yes, but it's, uh, the, the, their, their Inquisitors are too far away, so I think maybe he's going to go forward. The problem going forward is that he has those all these rocks, and it's not going to be easy for the Decimator, even with a hard turn, with a red hard turn to... To go in and and not suffer a lot of damage. He's flying in a tight formation, kind of, but he actually doesn't really need that. You Dutch Bander ability is range zero three. Yep. Um, what he's doing great is that Horton is the, the last one because Horton wants their friends to be a range zero one of the defender. Exactly. Exactly. Like if. If he's in target lock range and his friends are in front of him, that means that they're going to be able to benefit from his ability. Yes. Oh, no, he did. He did turn oh, in. I'm not sure if it's the right choice. Well, he can take advantage that neither Braylon or Chana stress are stressors this turn. Mm -hmm. He might be able to reach something at range three, start getting some early damage. I in. think right now Fernando is thinking I should have linked the focus. <laughs> But the problem is right next turn, because uh, there's a reinforce. Yes, and then first right, decimator. Let's go, let's go ahead and, and check for range here. That's gonna be in uh, range two or range three. Range three, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, oh that's Cherno's ability. Routine. There is gonna be able to change that focus to a crit. Okay. And now Braylon with two dice and no reroll this time. Oh, evading right. one. Takes two shields right off the bat. <clears throat> and now Braylon's revenge shot. You fire at me, I fire at you. Ooh, and right there, there no this. mods showing a... Showing its face. Okay. Um, oh, he has the force. Palp Palpatine. Yes. Yep. Palpatine, the Dark Lord. So saves that him went right well there. for the Imperial player. Yeah. If only Braylon had do the the fox the link focus. Well, that's that's ten. Oh, ten. That's ten. Yeah. Oh, Bra that's the what I was saying. Okay. Yeah, Braylon has no sticker on him. All right. No, and the so, Braylon is so out. that range control by Rodrigo very nice. Yes. This is what I was talking about, right? Uh, as many turns as Rodrigo can get where he's p just picking away and only taking one shot at a time, he will take that all day. Yes, but the problem is that I don't think the Inquisitors are coming to the next engage. Yeah, they're, uh, they're behind for yes, sure. Yes, and even um, I, would, I would go for a BAM for, the, for Chiranu, no, no reinforce and maybe Tank can block him or even Braylon and then it's like... Okay, I double tap. You have, you don't have reinforce, and then before the inquisitors come, that's uh, that is major. People are thinking or wanting that Fernando wins the the match, the rebel player. <laughs> well, I think maybe they're just it. If you're slighted and you think like, well, you know. This, a zero agility ship versus all four of these ships could die in a turn, uh, but that's Rodrigo has to allow that to happen, right? Um, okay, let, um, can we check on, on Chiranin's ability because I I think the chat is right. His ability is to, it doesn't work on range three, I think. Um, maybe that was let's, a let's go ahead okay, and let's, let's check. Let's check it. 
the chat might be right. They they played it wrong. Or let, or I'm not sure I knew. Uh, no, no, no. Nope, that was first edition. That first was first edition. edition. One two, yeah. Yes. In, in second edition, you only have to be, the ship has to be in the section that is matching your reinforced token. Exactly. So it doesn't matter any, it doesn't matter the range. Mm -hmm. It's those, those slight tweaks to the ability in third yes. and second edition that, uh, that even still, we're, we're a, a year? Over a year Over now. Over a year. And we are still like, oh, no, that's right. That's first edition. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, turning in here from the Green Inquisitor. Yes, <coughs> with a two heart. Mm, I'm not sure if he wants to boost. Oh, he yeah, he's boosted. He's boosting. Well, he if, if he's expecting Fernando to, to bring the rebel ships in this way, he's trying to get on the flank. Yes. Though he doesn't want to leave that guy alone. <laughs> we'll see what these other guys are doing. Okay, he's linking focus just in case. Yep, you got to be safe. And he has he has a good dial. He can yes. get rid of that stress very easily next turn. Hard one. Is he going to have the forward boost? Yes, he'll yes. have that available. And he should be safe. Even if the even if the rules are banking left, he should be safe. Still, you can link focus because all your forwards are, are mm -hmm. blue. Mm -hmm. This one might be a too hard. It is. So it's slightly behind. Oh, he cannot boost. No, that one. Barrel. Okay. I like the setup here from Rodrigo, though pink is probably going to be out of uh, out of range. Oh, you want pink to survive? Yes. yes. The hero. <laughs> you are right. <coughs> and now goes to four fours of just the one bank. I would have tried maybe even one of the B wins to, to try to block Shrenu. Yeah, but he has Dauntless. You're just taking away oh, a shot. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, please, I forgot about Dauntless. block me. Please, yes, yes. take away you're some right, shots. You're right, you're know, right. You know who he wants to block him? Some Y-Wings. Y-Wings, come yes. here. <laughs> <laughs> Hold, give me a hug. <laughs> I've totally forgot about Dauntless. <laughs> and that's Focus and um, only Focus? Just Focus, no stress there on 10. Oh, well, on 10, you... Well, you you if you have to choose, you want to start some railing. Yeah, so you have the rerolls. And yes. here he will probably focus and fail the bail roll on yes. purpose. I'm guessing. So remember, um, if a failed action is attempted, you get the consequences no matter what. Yes. So. Oh no! Well, he's actually going to go to yes. the outside. So he's spreading out the arcs just in case just he in goes case. to the top of the board. But is he getting shot? But uh, but but by yellow inquisitor. I think so, yeah. He's going to be... Okay. Oh, but he's railing. He has a roll, so... He should be safe, hopefully. <laughs> now, that's Dutch Vander. And now he's going maybe to lock on the decimator and give the lock to Tamsung, so... Both be going to have a roll. It's a very good synergy. And there the is the lock for Come. for Dutch. Mm -hmm. And oh no, he's giving it to to Horton. Mm. But Horton has his ability to give him reroll, so... That's if he's in range, if range zero yes. to one, so... Um, he's making sure he's got some type of mods, especially if he chooses to barrel roll here. He he must, because next turn is rock. Oh, will he no, focus? He's gonna... Okay. He want. This is his chance. If Chirinu ends up... Oh, Chirinu going... To the left. To the left. All right, so... Couple, couple of good things. Most likely gets out of this arc. Yes, and the reinforces the, the back is everybody. Yes. Yep. There's the line there. Everybody's behind it. That means the rear reinforce will be active for every shot. And he he gets to shoot to Braylon. Yep. Mm. 
Is that the pop token, right? To, yes. So it can range, range three, range. Um, did he see? Did he see? Okay, no problem if he see that. So he, he's going at, at Raylan. Raylan. I'm surprised. He already has damage on ten. Yes, but uh, his arc is is pointing forward and back. Oh, you're right. He's pointing the back. And Uses Cherno's ability. It's debating using the force here. Um, He's going to leave it at hit only crit. Two, yes. He wants the force for to defense against Cordon and... Oh! Was it range three? Must have been. Uh, yes. And we will use the focus. Okay, no damage there. No. Yes, he realizes Rayleigh and is not going to shoot. Okay, now first Teng Nam. Okay, they are debating, they are talking about the reinforce mechanic. Okay, so it's four dice for Teng and okay, two hits and... He, yep, he'll use that focus for three hits. And it's going to be two, two shields down for for Chiranyu because of the reinforced token. It's... Okay, now Horton or... Horton is going second. Now he does have the double tap, the... Because two. of... If it's range two, he has the double tap, and he has one reroll. Is his, I think his arc might not be turned to the front. Oh! You see? Yes, so yes. The Duchess is pointed this way. Maybe hard to the same. Oh, it's. It might be pointed to the right. And uh, oh, yes, he's checking off. They are checking for instruction. Checking I think instructed. instructed. First. Then maybe call for a judge or not? Because he's the closest. I don't think is that's. Ah uh, uh, no, that's the closest for. He's checking both arcs. He's, yeah. So maybe. Front arc is obstructed, but the second arc, the side is, arc is not. Side is dark. Yes. So, well, he has to go first with, with primary to attack. Uh, with the focus, and it's yes. Be two hits. One. It's going to be one, no matter what he rolls. One hit. Yes. So, reinforce reduces damage by one, but you must take at least one yes. damage. Okay, it's also um, Yep, that's veteran turret gunner there. That's a miss. Okay, well, you roll for Horton. One with the blanks. Into another black. Okay, that's no damage there. So he decided to keep the target locked there. That's why he only rolled re rolled one. Because next ability. turn he is not going to have any any yep. action. He has a rock in front of him. And finally, Dutch Bander obstructed. Range two. Only primary. Oh, hey, oh, crit. He still got two shields. shields. Yes, and it's going one through. Yep. It no matter what he does there. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah. He's down to his last shield. Yes. Um, You have a still down. No, Brayling doesn't have a shot, I think. That was yes. that was the hope range ruler. <laughs> 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 I want it to be over here, but it's not over there. Okay, now the Inquisitors. They may have been able to shoot onto the pink. Onto number pink number coming pink. in. It's going to be obstructed. Range three against Braylon. And he's got to focus. Yes. Braylon will have uh, re rolls. Oh, Two that's hits. nice. And that's three dice on for Braylon because of the obstruction and range three. Oh, no. Uh, yes, you're safe. Yep. Yes. Two eight. And the second one is. We'll range two to Raylan, range one to Dutch. Oh, two hit. oh my goodness, Rodrigo. He has. And he's got re rolls with his stress. No, he, he's oh. shooting. Yes. Oh, this is still the damage. Still takes two. Two, two shields out for ten. Last round, two shields down for Braylon now, and the last one is uh, have a shot or maybe on Dutch. I mean, I would just keep going into, if you can, just go into yeah, Braylon. But I think it's Braylon it's is out. out yeah. arc, yes. One. One and two dice for Dutch. Evade it. it. Not this. Okay. Um, 
I think they have dealt they have dealt the same amount of damage. It's four divided two yep. two shields down for each B wing and four damage total of Chernew. I like the position of Chernew because Oh it's in great position. Yes. He's going to force them the K turn now. Yes, and if Dutch wants to to hit him, if if Chernu goes this way, then he have to go through the rack, and his arc is pointing left. Yep. And well, um, to the Ho bottom of the board. Yes. Yeah. And Horton is going through the rock also. Um, he's blocking the the K turn for for ten. So then we have to perform maybe a one hard turn. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a great position. This looks like one of those things that Rodrigo has practiced yes. this opening because cause you have to have the confidence that after you've made this three turn in, that you have the space yes. to come back out this way. That's absolutely huge. And the Gizitors are coming, and they are chipping damage. They have already dealt two damage to Braylon. Little by little. I mean, yes. ro rolling two hits two times helps. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, man. So I uh, want to remind you guys that this round is brought to you by Curled Paw Creatives. Use coupon code BAOPEN19 for 15%. Again, BAOPEN19. I got a choice of either an empanada yes. or a burger. For lunch, I chose empanada. I chose burger. I'm in South America. I gotta have. Oh right. Have empanada. I would. I would get ridiculed. You went to to Buenos <laughs> Aires and you had cheeseburgers. What are you doing? <laughs> well, I I have empanada like all, all day. I mean, of course, oh, right? Every day. All right. It's not. It's not special for you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Okay. So um. Where is this? I need to find it. I want to show you guys something really cool. I'm just looking for it. So just give me a second. I'll find it. Find the tide. Boop, 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 boop. All right. Is it time? It's, it's time. time because the Inquisitors are moving one bank to the left. He's debating his action and it's first the boost. And I think it's linked to to a focus who he has mm, Yes, the focus. Although you are shooting against ships that are not shooting at back at you, so maybe the force shoot has been enough. Yeah, but I, I would have liked the I mean I guess you can't target lock and do that, right? So it's not possible. Yes. And you can't boost and lock with the Kisters. Yeah. It was That'd be too good. <laughs> yes, it would be too good. <laughs> but I think yellow may, may only do the lock. Okay, the focus. Evade. Just, just, well, just in case. Just in case. Well, with yellow coming this way, oh, most yes, likely, right? right? He doesn't have a play to the right. And he's banking because of the that debris cloud. And uh, maybe he another boost. Yes, there's a boost to the l to the right. Boost to the right, link to the focus. And let's see what the rebels have set for their dials. Which one moves first? First going to be Braille and Stram. And too hard, he keeps the stress. He has the roll, but no focus. Yeah, he's just he's just trying to get that arc around as fast as possible to yes. make sure he can take shots while he can. The interesting here, thing here is with Rodrigo turning out this way, um, you know, next turn he's going to have to one bank. Yes. And, but the following turn he'll be able to just be away and not get shot. And just there's using that rock to his advantage yes. for sure. Oh, there was no hard turn. There was like, like forward, yeah. and he's stressed. He attempt a a, a K turn. Uh, to, uh, probably just to get stressed. Just to get stressed, but oh, oh, okay. Wait, in case, defend. in case, uh, Ch Chiranu hits him, mm -hmm. and there's the old, that's the two hard turn for Hortal Psalm. There was a rock in front of him. Um, 
Is it a bump? No, that's not a bump. But he loses his performance step. And he has to roll for damage. And there is... No, a blank. No damage for Hortulm. And let's see what Dutch has done. That's a four straight or four... Um, he missed it. He failed. Yes. Rodrigo's hand is... Oh, he no, got it. he did got it. it. He's got he it. got it. So that uh, turns his arc to the other side. Yes. Um, so... Uh, but he's probably not going to have range. His dorsal turret... Only one and two. For anybody who okay. is joining us today, I want to remind you guys that uh, you, obviously we can't see the cards on the side, but we do have a card cam. Card cam. So we, we can take peeks uh, whenever we need to. We also have a, a secondary view where we can see the table and the cards at the same time. Okay, what Rodrigo just said is, okay, what I have practiced this enough or I am taking the simulator away in a live streaming. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but you were right, Dion. He had practiced that. Yeah. There was enough space for that to, to hurt. But um, I think... Um, the reinforced won't help against against Horton, and Horton will have two rerolls. Oh, but the I don't see where he has pointed the the turret. Is it forward it's for uh, for pink for Horton or to right? It is forward. It's for oh, all. Right. That's four dice two hits to only. oh Chiranu rotate his arc. That's two hit and oh, one blank, and he was against ten, I think. Not sure. Let's go ahead. That's what we have the the card cam. That's ten Nam. Uh, he went into Dutch. Into Dutch? Yeah. Because he's down to. No, th no. That's four shield CR for. For. Oh, you're right. It's yes, for ten. Sorry. For ten Nam. Yep, so. Got it. Okay. That's Dutch going against this major first primary. He's rolling because of Horton's ability. That's two damage and no reinforce this time. So Chiranu takes the first damage card. Oh, shout out to LGDG who uh, happened upon our stream. It's interesting, on YouTube, we end up in random people's recommended who like yeah. gaming things. Oh. This is uh, X-Wing Miniatures game. Uh, we are Gold Squadron, and um, I travel all around the world. Yes. <laughs> uh, bringing uh, live X-Wing tournaments to uh, live TV everywhere. So welcome. All right, so whiff on that first attack. Next one, um, measuring your range. Range. Okay, so Horton have, um, I think Horton blank, blanked out the second attack against Chiranu. And it's, um, all right, okay, let's finish first. Dutch, no range for Dutch against Yellow. Or yes, no, maybe he, he does, and it's all oh, double, double eyeball for Dutch. He doesn't have any any no mods there. Any mods. Right. And now the dorsal turret. If he's a range two, no, range three. And now it's Brailing Stram range three against Chiranu. Here's a roll. That's oh, oh, hit, hit, crit that's good. coming in. That's, and he's rolling only one die. Oh, uh, got, got the evade. Got the evade. So Very nice. Hit crit. hit crit, but it is going to be a crit, though. Um, I think he dealt some damage because of the, of Horton's attack. Like, let's see the, the, the cards. They're not showing the... They just dealt the, the face-up damage card. Yeah. So shield crit. Oh no, there's some oh, other cards yes. there. Yes. Okay, let's see that. So he has shield gone and the th three. Which is the? Which one is a crit? Cannot. See. 
cannot see it. I, I'll go over there, though. Okay. Next attack. Two hits coming in, and that's going to be going into Braylon. Rolls the evade. Down to one shield. And that looks to be range. And uses the focus for one hit coming in. And got the evade. All right, Pedro, what was that? Uh, it was console fire. Okay, console fire. Let's go ahead and put that on there. So it's half Chirinu. Yes, it's, it's already half. And it's going to be, oh, one damage against. This is on to Braylon. This range three. Oh. And he's going to be taking it. He doesn't have no. anything. Yes, he's oh, re re rolling Excuse because me. of Try it again. ability. Got oh, it, yes. got it, got it. So it's half on 10 and half on Chirinu. Although it was a great move for Chirinu, it well, he, Horton had the reroll. Horton. Yeah, so the question here is, with Council Fire being on Chirinu, um, is it more important to reinforce or clear the clear the council fire? Um, that's a tricky question. I, I'm thinking you probably uh, reinforce, right? Because council fire is one damage. Yes. And reinforce can save you up to four, or it's actually up to six. Yes. If uh, you know you got the veteran turret gunners going off. Okay, so well, Tang is not going to be chasing Cheranu next turn. Right. You are. If there are three other ships. Maybe um, the Y Wing Horton is going this way, and then Breland going to a bank mm -hmm. here. And I don't. Sh I'm not sure about Dutch Probably because he, he has all, all all these decimators now coming in. Yeah, the uh, yeah, the Inquisitors. Meh. Oh, the Inquisitors. Sorry. Yeah, it's fine. Um, but. He has the advantage that his move will last. So if he sees that, oh, nobody is shooting me or only one, oh, I can, I can repair the console fire. Hmm. So Fernando already up 47 points. Yes. To half, half this meter. Mm -hmm, to 24. And he only has f half on Tang Yam. Now, as we wait for these players to set those final dials, I want to rem remind you guys that Isophane is turning the tide, but he can't do it alone. Support Gold Squadron podcast today. <laughs> <laughs> this is a poster made by Crazy Vulcan in honor of one of our biggest supporters on the channel, Isophane. Um, actually, we'll be in Sacramento oh. next week, which is the home of Isophane. We're going to be uh, doing his hyperspace trial. We're going to be yeah, streaming it. So we'll, be, we'll be live next weekend as well. Um, and different ways to support us. Uh, if some people are like, oh, I don't have money. Like, listen, it's super easy. If just watch, that's like the first thing. Make sure yes. you, if you're if you're watching, uh, if you're subscribed to our YouTube channel, you listen to the podcast. You know that 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 definitely helps. Um, you know, you could of course become a Prime subscriber, which is super easy. If you already have Amazon Prime, you just connect your Amazon Prime account to Twitch, and it's free. It's absolutely free. I made a video to do it. Exclamation point Prime in the chat to see how to set it up. Again, I'm like. Serious. It's like giving away Amazon's money. It's hilarious. Um, if you don't have Prime, you've, of course, become a regular subscriber via Twitch. Uh, but our number one support system is through Patreon, patreon.com slash gold squadron, where you can get awesome swag while supporting our content here at Gold Squadron Podcast, our world travel to bring you guys X-Wing uh, from around the world. Yes. So thank you to all of our patrons and everybody who's made it happen. Yes. Um, there are somebody asking questions in the chat. Eh, sí, yeah. vamos a estar. Son cinco rondas, porque el CS Open son, son cinco rondas y mañana el cut. Así de. También lo hacemos en español. This time, because we're from Buenos Aires. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I want to thank, also, I, I normally don't do that, but I want to thank my, my mom is watching the streaming. She, she doesn't know anything about X-Wing. It's all but, right. But I told her, I'm going to Buenos Aires. 
we will be live and and say, oh, can send, send me the link. I want to watch it. And she's watching. What's your mom's name? Silvia. 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 Tú tienes una una hijo que es muy bueno y ah, I'm my ter Spanish is terrible. Sorry, guys. And is my friend. <laughs> <laughs> So it's all dial set uh, for first is okay. The kisitor is going forward. The pink is going forward. Yeah, he's trying, just trying to create a box here. Uh, he's debating maybe focus. He wants to go after ten. Yes, that's, that's, that's the target right now. I think you target lock, target lock, do it. No, it's barrel rolling oh, okay. and link because he knows ten is going left, left of your screen. He's going forward, and then it's. Yes, he's creating the kill box for Tang Nam. No, no, no. The only one this meter going for Tang. The other one is going to help Chernu. I got your back, buddy. Yes. <laughs> See, I, I, I don't know if, unless he's, the plan here could be using it as a blocker eventually once he's trying to get eventually, him around. Eventually, not this round, but the next round. Yeah. Because Horton is full health. Um, okay, Brailing is three shields down, but um, there is no way he's shooting at at Brailing, maybe. And Dutch is also full health. And he's doing an evade in case Dutch goes forward and wants to shoot him. Okay, both of them have evades. Yep. Now that's Horton Salm. <laughs> the to heart to, to turn to the right. I want to see the final position because he may be in the position to block one of the Oh, I I keep forgetting about the downless title. It's okay, yeah. It's <laughs> the, the the block does not matter. The only thing it matters for is slowing him down, of course. Yes. And he's doing a rotate, I think. He wants to do it before placing the, the ship. Because sometimes it's hard to, to actually rotate uh, the pointer. Yep. Okay, now it's for Tang Nam. Tang Nam, oh, he's still stressed. Yep. And he's going at, at the Inquisitors at here. He's, oh, you, you were the guy, the ones who were shooting. Yeah, that's right. You, sh you shot me in the back. <laughs> so strategically, I think what happened here, um, normally I don't condone splitting up fire because right now he's, he's shifting his attacks yes. now, right? But this rock right oh, here yes. played a huge decision-making role for Fernando because he couldn't, he couldn't actively pursue Cherno. Yes. That was a great place rock. And it's the one forward for Braylon. Um, uh, in the case he he actually blocked Chiranu, Braylon will have a shot. But if Chiranu goes forward, then he won't. Oh, he's going to to do the focus and fail the barrel on purpose against yep. to, to the rock. Um, finally, Dutch Bander. Just confirming the yes. uh, <laughs> the the failed action. I, if you're not used to 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 see that, it's like what you you can actually do that. Yeah, but it's. So it only benefits the B-Wings, though. Every other yes. ship, it punishes them for failing. So, I, And I'm okay with that. Yes. Unless you see a lot of B-Wings, like, yeah, a, sure. a couple of months ago. Oh, yeah. It was very It could be. It was very frustrating then, for sure. Okay. Now, it's... Um, oh, no, the other problem for Rodrigo is that he's... Um, maybe pink is shooting at a 10, and yellow is shooting at Dutch. And the other one is shooting at Horton, so it's yeah. He, he needs to he needs to focus fire. I want to see him go here, take the range three shot over there. Yes, um, and obviously the other one is pointed the other way. But 
take out one ship. See if you can get 10 this turn. Okay, no block there. So no shots for Braylon. Uh, Rocker Cracker, you're right. You're right. I missed that one. Yeah, and Lulo. Lulo's the other one who can benefit from Okay, Lu Lulo is. And there was a, a tight silencer that when you were stressed in range one ships in your firing arc were. Recoil. You recoil, okay. You can treat ships in your firing arc at range one as if they were they were in your bullseye. All right, console fire. Yes. No damage. He's going to be able to. Um, the enforce works on Horton, but I don't think. I think that might be intercepting there. Yes. <coughs> but it's obstructed, so it's right. It should be fine. But Raylan has the double tap, and also. All right, so he's going to be going range one into Horton Psalm. They're double checking the range. Here he goes. Ooh hey, that's going to be a crit Palpatine? there. Oh, uh, no, yes. Yeah, with his ability. ability. So it's, uh, oh, that's very good. Now this, this that's the, now Green Simator attacking Horton doesn't seem, doesn't look so bad. And yep, he oh. got the evade, so three shields gone. Off. No, it's two shields only. It's, it's, it's a Y-Wing. Oh, you're right. So hit, hit. it's going to be two shields and a crit. Yes. And the card. Oh, they are not showing the card. They are placing it there. <laughs> we'll, f we'll find out here See. in a minute. They are making us use your, <laughs> your card card's camera. Well, I'm, gl I'm glad we set it up. Oh, there is Fuel also. Leak. Fuel leak. If Green Inquisitor can roll a crit, then it's going to, to work. And it's, oh, which one is shooting? And I think first is Horton or not? No? I think this is... Um, oh, he's, he's, he's Horton, but... Oh, Horton doesn't work. Um, he doesn't count for his own abilities. Or only no. other... Fr oh, okay. Other friendly ships, yeah. So it's like one one hit to to Decimator. Yep. To, to cheer on you. Because the Reinforce cannot prevent you from... From taking all damage. Yes. Okay, first is uh, Dutch against Green. Range 2. One hit. He doesn't have the lock. Oh, he does. Yeah, he's just double checking. Ooh, Ooh whiffs. The, that's the bait. And it has, yep. He has to spend the bait. <coughs> and now the double tap for Dutch. Oh no, his, his, eye, his yeah. arc is to the left. So he's going to reach range two. And he doesn't have any enemy ships in that no. side arc. Yes. Brailing is out and then it's... Okay. Now so it's Fernando talking about he yeah. <laughs> wishing he could have gone around that yes. rock. Okay, now it's staying against Pink. Oh, he's got rerolls. No, re he has no. He, he's staying numb. Oh, he's ten numb. He spends it. That's two hits and two crits. Oh. No, he, he's planning. Ten numb uses stress as as it was a focus. Oh, that could that, be a dead that Pink. <laughs> Number Pink. It's two shields down, and which one is the crit? Oh, it's a stunned pilot, he tells. Stunned yeah. pilot. All right, stunned pilot. Um, if you perform a, a, a maneuver and you hit an obstacle, you take a damage. So yes. one obstacle, and he's dead. He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> but he's going to return fire now. You yes. shoot at me, I shoot back at you. Two, one of each, and he's going to use the focus. Okay, for two hits. One evade, only one hole down. Down to three holes. Now the question is if, um, okay, first I think green. Green or yellow. Check in range. It is the correct choice, I think, to yes. go at, go at, uh, at 10. Yes. <coughs> Mm, yes, yes. This is telling the right. He, he he has to choose one of the ships, measure range from that from that ship, yeah. and then shoot. Mm. 
Okay. Yeah, so just correcting the, the yes. rule on you can't measure multiple ships at an initiative and then choose the order. You got to yes. activate one, go with the other one. Okay, against Teng now, and it's... Oh, that's, right. that's a force. That's a force. He's got it. He okay, yes, he force from yellow, two hits against Teng Nam. It is range three, so he's got two hits. Uh, two dice, excuse me. No stress token, so it's like... Nettys. Oh, Nettys! Woo. And green, uh, green against Dutch in range three. Oh, hey, and that's a field leak. It can be the field leak. Yep, he's got uh, two dice. No, no it's he's taken three, three damage at least. Yes. Because of the fuel leak. See. So he's down to two for sure, maybe yes, more. That's one damage, then then that's a crit. And which is a crit and it's weapons failure, I think. I think it's weapons failure. I see a W there. And I see an action that seems to be repair this car, so uh, let's go with now, weapons, yes, go weapons failure. So now he, now Rodrigo can choose to go after Horton or after Tang because they are, Tang is down to three hull, Horton is down to two hull. It could be a wounded pilot. Can you do me a favor? Can you go check, just take a look, what crit does Horton have? On him. Thank you. <coughs> Shout out to Ryan Farmer in the chat. Oh, right right hi, tackle. Ryan. My boy. <clears throat> so it's like uh, completely different from last match mm -hmm. where they were like, oh, a lot of engage or no so much engage, but it's okay, no damage. Okay, yeah, no. yeah, no, lots, lots of uh, dice being thrown in this game for sure. And now we have like this major in seven who left with console fire. We have Horton Salm down to two, down to two hull with weapons failure, and Tang Nam down to three. Um, now, what do you do with Horton? Maybe I, I don't. Does a heart, does a two to the left? It was weapons failure. Good good call, Pedro. <laughs> does it fit? I don't think so. The hard turn? Mm, With two, I don't no. think, no. It doesn't fit. Okay, so I'm not even sure the three would fit. No. Mm, so he would have just to bank. You uh, just bump and hope that he stays in the arc. And this guy goes uh, like 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 two forward, and maybe this like a hard two attempted to block uh, Dutch, because Brailing most likely is going to be a hard turn, expecting this. Yeah. And this is well, the simulator is going like maybe forward only. Forward and reinforce. All right, we have a little bit of an extension compared to everybody else. This player started a little bit late. We're at oh, that's Justin Turner is right. Maybe 4K for Dutch? That, um, again, if that's, he's, that'll fit. It'll fit for if sure. If he's expecting green to go this way, then the 4K is out, takes him out of the green sparing arc. So it would be great. Uh, uh, unless um, he performs a one bank, so... Mm -hmm. But if he, even if, if Green does a one bank to the right, he will have like uh, Horton's attack and Braylon's attack uh, if Chiranu doesn't finish. I think I, I think I like the one hard to the left here. This fits. One hard, barrel roll, focus. Or you could even go to the outside if you wanted to. Yes. I like the inside, though. That'll set up some blocking opportunities, possibly, for Yes, uh, you can block that. Green. Um, and you can go after Tang Nam, who's also three who left. Which, oh no, Tang and Horton are both 40, 48. 
Okay, now it's four straight, I think, for pink. All right, so okay. here is Secator. No. Uh, yes. Pink. Yes. Yes. What? But was pink stress? No, that. Justin Turner in the chat says, I'm going to come down to Sacramento and say what's yes, up. Yes, yes. They were stressed. He was stressed. Oh, no. Oh. He forgot. There was a stress token for. There sure is. Oh. So that is a two yeah. white forward. Oh. Two white forward there. Oh, my. That's why I was confused. I was like, is yes. this his turn? Yeah, was like, I was I was thinking okay. of oh, four four forward no, <laughs> no like like K turn and then okay that's why we have a huge it's huge stress, stress token from Carl Powell yes it's like he's going to bump uh, and Tang is no stress because he's used his stress last turn so if he performs a, a two talon he may be able to finish pink. Now it is green, the one bank. Um, maybe barrel focus. No, just debate. debate yeah. Also one bank from yellow. <laughs> yeah, he's just trying to trying to hunt down Horton, see if he can finish him off. Yes. He's two hold away to get the forty full forty eight points. They, we need l larger stress tokens. <laughs> That's what I was giggling at. Okay, let's see first. I think it's... It's Tangnam. Shout out, shout out to Luke Carrington in the chat. Gold Squadron paint cast. Woo woo. Oh. He did a K-Tur. Oh. oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. This is going to hurt. Yes, that's gonna. He only hurt. has the force, and but one who left. <laughs> that's not how the force works. <laughs> yes, that's, <laughs> that's <all> right. <laughs> so with the with the green uh, ten doing the K turn, he basically yes. has a focus with his ability. Yes, that is most likely. That's uh, one bank, I think. Ah, oh, one bank away. Mm. He wants his action. Okay, so no bump here, I think. No, he, it was bump. Oh, yeah. It was a bump against... And his... His arc is side, or...? Yeah, that's what I want to see. I believe it is to the right. We need larger starts, <laughs> also. <laughs> <laughs> we can tell from here. And it's yes, yes. It's to the right. Okay. He, he can show that green. Now I hope Braylon has to do a, a, a two turn to the to the right. Yes. Uh, I think it's a bank. Uh, no, no, it's a turn. It's okay, yes, it's a turn. You know. It's because if he's already stressed, you will. If you do a blue, you only have the focus, but you already have the roll. Uh, exactly. So, so has those re re rolls active. Yeah, so he may be. A, he has the possibility to kill Green unless. Chiranu kills kills Horton first. So okay, that's that was a bam for So you now have three rebel chips pointing at green. Sad green. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean he probably should just shoot at at rack though. Right? Yes. Oh that's, also that's the target. Uh, well, let's see what maneuver he chose there. Forward. Yep. Okay, so no, the dorsal will go to. The dorsal to, go, might to green, ring. yes. Yeah. Um, but Horton and and Braylon both have shots. Yes. And then with the reinforce, uh, that I'm pretty sure was the yeah. action. Council fire is still live on him. Did Rodrigo he, deciding. Did he choose other he, he hasn't. He hasn't. He's thinking about it. Oh, okay. he's reaching for council fire. He's asking questions about. The yes. <laughs> about no. He's asking if Horton has any damage. Horton is full health. Yeah. 
He's flipping the console fire, the console fire. For his action. Okay, he's like hoping all shots will go to green. So it's first going the decimator. Range three to Horton's Helm. Oh no, to Dutch, to Dutch, man. To Dutch, sorry. yeah. His his arc is is to the sides. Only um, one. Only one. In best case scenario, is it's only one shield. It's no, no damage. Not a now it's a turn for the rebels. It's uh, I don't think uh, he's oh, okay. Dutch turret is to the left and he doesn't have a, sh a turret shot at green, so it's only primary. Is range one or range two? Range one, I think. So all th uh, well, I don't know if all three rebels, but at least Dutch is going to. Okay. Whiff. Whiff. Woof. Green may leave. Okay, that's a dorsal, dorsal turret to green. Yep. He will have the roll because of that? No, it was range two, I think. Yep. No, no rerolls. Oh, no need for two rerolls. Two hits. And oh. he has an evade. And the force. And the force. He could block them both if he wants to. He will. He does. Yes, he does. Um, no. Oh. Brailing against green or brailing against the decimator. Well, no damage dealt to Rodrigo that turn. Yes. That's huge. I know. He's choosing green. I'm sur All right. I'm surprised. He should have measured first. If it was range one against green, I would have shot him. Is range one? No, it's range two. Okay. He has a rolls. So he can reroll two yes. while stressed. Oh, he was right. He shot two dorsal third dice, but Horton South has weapon failure. He should have shot only one. He should have. They, oh, they must right. repeat the attack, I think. Because they don't know if they would have used the, the bait the token or the force token. Yeah, and it just happened right now. Yes. They are debating that. There's a judge there. Yeah, they're going to take care of it. Yes. We'll find out what the. Okay, that's. We are missing completely the the large tokens. <laughs> well, yeah, the, the weapons failure is what we missed. And he has the grid token. He does. Right, it's right so there. Okay. So I think they're just gonna roll it back. Maybe yes, it should be the right call because and just do it and just roll it again. Yes. Okay. Here we go. Yes. Okay, he's rolling one. Yes, one, 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 one die dice. only. What's well, range one? So it'll be two. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, it was. Wait. Okay. What? Okay, that's evaded, I think. Um, no, I think that was that was. That was the brain. Brain. Okay. I uh, know because there's a shot like to the. Oh no, that's a that's a dead. That's a dead pink. Dead. Yes, Number he pink. he can only evade three of them. There are four hits. Oh, also in a, a, in a, in a ball of fire and glory yes. there. So that's dead pink. Yep. And now, well, Fernando is now. I up think in what points. they decided to do with Horton is just be like, "You rolled two hits. You want to just call it one?" Yes. And I just waste one of my tokens, and they said, "Yeah, whatever." That seems to be the uh, the call there. Well, in any case, Green didn't take any damage, so. Yeah. She would find and and it was a completely separate attack between Tang and and Pink Inquisitor. But now, oh, Green, uh, Green has a shot. No, no, he's out. No, he's not. So it's all down to Yellow. Uh, Yellow may be able to to finish. Support yeah, I, mean, I go I go at Horton immediately. Yes. Because, okay, first, yellow. Uh, yeah, you you, there, go, you go at, still absolutely go at Horton here. Yes. 
Range 3 or range 2? Range 3. This will be 2 on 2. They're going to double check here. Okay, range 3. 2 against 2. Oh! Two, two crits. And no mods on the Y wing side needs, for defense. He needs Natis. Only one. All right, that's going to be a crit. Let's find out what it is. Loose stabilizer. Loose stabilizer. So oh. <laughs> that is that is I think probably one oh. of the crits that most people hate the most. Uh, if you <laughs> execute a non-straight maneuver, take a damage. So and he's he one to down to one. And he's going to one the forward. He has to go one forward or yes. die. Um. Uh, what do he attempt now? <laughs> okay, green. Um, Tang Nam is in great position to to come back. So Rodrigo, um, having lost that Inquisitor, you need to take out Horton ne this turn. Yes, you have to. You know exactly where he's going to be. You take him out, and then. I mean, after that, you gotta you gotta finish off. Uh, yes, maybe 10. maybe he will attempt uh, uh, yellow to bank here, so he blocks Braylon in case Braylon attempts a blue maneuver. Yep. And then go with green. Oh, I don't know. Maybe maybe just one one bank, so he knows where Horton is. The problem for for, uh, for Rodrigo yep. is that that dorsal turret is pointing that way. So if he it's going to be two dice for because of range one and weapons failure, and the decimator, oh, he's too hard to the right, I think. The yep. yeah, he's got he's got to bring it back into the fight because now see. he's he's on the exit path. Yes. Um, Braylon maybe a three. Uh, take them maybe a three bank. He will have the the stress he needs for his ability. Could you let them know that they have uh, 11 minutes left on that clock on the table? Did you get the crits on Martin? Say it again? Did you get the crits on Martin? Are you aware of Yeah, we're good. Yeah. Okay, so... Um, uh, He's got it. Let me see the points. Even if he needs... If he, no, he needs to kill both of Horton and Ten to be up. Well, he can do... He can kill Ten and get half. On, on Braylon. Braylon also, yes. Because that'll give you 26 plus, uh, that'll give you 40-something points. That'll get, you, that'll get you above 82. So maybe sure. Yellow doesn't need to to block Braylon. Maybe he, maybe he can position behind Braylon. Only one bang from Yellow. And Braylon will go forward. And he can get half on Braylon. Yeah. That's also a possibility. All right, we got about 10 minutes left on the streaming table. Yes, we are. St well, this is going to be the last round before the lunch break, I think. Are we, are we doing a break after this one? Yep. We got to take a siesta. Yes. <laughs> And there's three more ra more rounds in the afternoon here in Buenos Aires Open. Now I gotta I gotta give a little shout out here. Let me let me take a look at what this is. Uh, I think someone just gifted gifted a load of subs. Tycho seventeen oh seven said that he's doing his part. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> He's supporting Gold Squadron podcast. That's right. And earlier today as well, uh, we had some uh, subs uh, gifted by Marcel Manzano, gifted a sub to Thrawn uh, V11. Uh, Shane 214 008 donated five subs. Tycho uh, throwing in a tenner there, uh, giving 10 subs. Thank you so much for your guys' support. So the plan here with the sub counter is I'm going to be keeping the same one active and just updating it throughout uh, throughout the whole world tour. So we're going to have that same sub counter for about a month uh, and see see where we can make it go. Okay.
Okay, so Tang is ready, Braylon is ready, Horton is ready. Dutch is very careful with his maneuvers. Oh, yeah. He's bumping the last two rounds. And, well, Rodrigo is also ready. Let's see who moves first. First is Green with the one bank. Like you say, you know where, where Horton is going to, to finish his maneuver. Yep, he's just getting in the way. And yes, the, oh, he's attempting to block Braylon. Just getting in the way. He's also, um, I'm, I'm not sure because, because I'm I want to see where this lands. I'm pretty sure. I think Braylon Tengnam, probably went faster than that. Maybe, but maybe, uh, I'm pretty sure Tengnam has done, has chose, chosen a tree bank to yeah. the right. That's the one bank from yellow. Um, if even if he bumps Braylon into green, I'm not sure if yellow will have a shot at Braylon so he can get half. All okay, right. that's the one forward for... This is going to be the game here. Uh, we have seven minutes left in the round. Most likely this gives us maybe one more round after this. Yes. But I think the uh, whatever happens this round is really going to gonna lock it up for one of these players. Rodrigo needs another round. So this one and another so so this major can can actually get in the fight. Yes. Again. Um that's uh, he repair the loose stabilizer or choose the focus. Oh or he may attempt a barrel roll so he gets another turn without getting off the table. Yeah. Um Oh, but he's getting, he's getting that's a range, two, range. Two, two from yellow. Yep. And maybe closer to the decimator. If, um, that's if very true. Uh, that's very true. He's got only one hole. But you know what? He's he's taking the risk. He's like, I would, yes. it, it gives him a chance to survive. Okay, now let's see the Rebels. First Dutch Vander. No, first Tang Ten, yeah. The tree bank? No, no too, too hard. hard. He's okay. trying to he's trying to intercept Chernu when he comes around this way. Yes. You're right. And only focus um the barrel roll. There you go. Oh Spread. he could already put the spreading out those plate. firing arcs. They have all the game dance around that rock. Weaver CT, thank you for your gifting of five subs. Oh, he, he well, that was a bank for for Braylon. He's doing his part. I think he he went through. And then Braylon, nice. They, yes, Braylon forgot All about Green. Right. He's going to the decimator. Rodrigo going, going for the W here. And that that may then Dutch may have performed the bank maneuver. About about five minutes left. Oh, that's the stress for Braylon. Braylon has been stressed like. The last seven, eight rounds. Yes, that's the bank for Dutch. They are going to cash yeah, that decimator. They're, they're going for the decimator. And that's the most amount of points yes, left on the and, table right there. And if the decimator does uh, too hard to the right, I think he will have... He won't be able to reinforce for both Dutch and, and Braylon, I think. It's going to be half and half. Okay, now it's, now it's Chiranyu, too hard to the right. Yeah, yep, he's going to no. be at range, range yes. two and three of I'm a couple of Fernando ships. If Fernando can take out Chirino here, that's locking up the game for him right yes. now. Yes, he's he's uh, 
he's deciding, uh, I want to reinforce against Braylon, I want to reinforce against Dutch. Yeah, well, you want, I, I if want you're trying to go for the win, you need you need to get half points right there. You one hit away. Yes, I would reinforce, uh, but I'm not sure if the, the line. I, that might, ah, he might be flanked. He locked. All Braylon. right, that is an aggressive move. Yes. Oh, two hits. Oh, three and hits. And use that lock to great effect. He will, he will have half points on Braylon because he's going to lose a shield no matter yep. what. And it's, okay, uh, he's, he's using... Braylon, he's going to yes, reroll. Braylon ability. No, that's one Take shield two. and one cooldown. On Braylon Strong. Oh, I think that Chiranius, um full rare rear arc was like in half. Yeah, he was so flanked. Yep. Yes, no reinforce there. And he has the um, destruction against that, so... He has a chance. And he also has Palpatine available. Yes. He, that was the right call. So now he has half on the range two obstructed. Yes, Dutch against... Chiranu obstructed. Now the first is a primary attack with uh, one hit. Yes, one hit. No, uh, no mods on that. No, I he think might have he's a action. Got it. Oh, guys, no guys, damage. Yes. Ah, and his turrets turn the wrong way, I think, or he's gonna oh. go out the back. Yeah, yes. he's going at the yellow inquisitor here. Oh, this is with dorsal turret, only one hit there, and evaded. got it, safe. Now let's see if they roll dice enough, quickly enough, so we can have another round. There is Braylon, there is Dutch shooting, there is no dorsal shot for for Horton Salm. Okay, now it's down to Tengnam, I think. I know Braylon didn't shoot. Didn't shoot yet. So it's Braylon. Oh. Uh, he gotta, he's got to reroll. He's got to reroll. He's stressed. He forgot. Yeah, no, yeah, no. You know, he's just double he checking. No, All right. Slant. Two. And got it. it. Ooh, toma. Yes. Only one. <laughs> Down to six hull, Chiranu. Come on. They need to roll. Well, Rodrigo needs to roll faster. Rodrigo needs one more turn if he wants a chance to yes, win the game. Yes, but he's still Formento, Fernando Formento's attack. It's obstructed against Yellow, I think. Range one, ten obstructed against Yellow. It's gonna be four on four. He's got a force and an evade on uh, the yes. Yellow Inquisitor. Uh, I don't think we'll we'll have another another no. round. Okay. Oh, and then now are they are debating. Or, oh, maybe yeah, he wants to shot green also. Okay, range two to green. Oh, there you go. There you go. Spend he the, the focus. focus. Oh, he may be able to He actually probably should have spent the stress. Finish. Yes. Okay, that's... That's going to be one. One shield only to Gizidor, and that's, that's, that's time. Time in the round. And now, oh, he needs, it's all down to yellow against Horton. Because all rebel ships have shot. Oh, Only that's one. it, Horton. That's, that's it, that's Horton. Horton's off. Boom, and that brings him up 98 yes, to 82. It doesn't matter what he rolled. It's one. Oh, he made it, but it's what down. That is the game. Oh, in the final attack. Final round again. Yes. Wow. Congratulations, Rodrigo. Yeah. Uh, another Rodrigo wins another Rodrigo. on the table. <laughs> it's the second victory for Team Rodrigo <laughs> here in Buenos Aires Open. <laughs> and both in the final attack, both in the final round. Rodrigo Vela and Rodrigo Moretti. One here in Gold Squadron podcast. Absolutely. All right, guys, you know what time it is. It's giveaway time. 
So, uh, again, thank you guys for joining us. We are going to be going on a lunch break after this round, and we got three more rounds of Swiss coming for you. Top eight tomorrow, and, uh, of course, then we'll be back next weekend with the Sacramento System Open. So uh, we had... Uh, we had some east, not east coast, but like, right, eastern United States, Indianapolis, South America, California. Then we're going to go to Poland. Then we're going to go to Australia. All around the globe. Uh, the, whole, the whole thing. So if you've never participated in our giveaways before, it's really, really easy. All you got to do is type in the Twitch chat. Uh, we don't do giveaways on YouTube. Come on over to Twitch. This is the preferred uh, streaming platform for... Uh, for Gold Squadron, we make YouTube available because we understand there's some people who like to like to watch at work. No shame, that's fine, and you can't watch on Twitch, so yeah, that's fine. So you can bl you can blame me um, when your boss asks what are you doing. I go, it's Dion's fault. It's fine. <laughs> Dion told me to watch him. Yeah, Dion. Dion said, "I'm here to support Dion. <laughs> I'm doing my part." <laughs> All right, so. Let's go ahead and uh, and keep giving some some of these away. So we have what here, do we have here? Wh where's the one that I peeled already? Oh no, I I lost it. Oh no, there it Damn. is. Okay, okay. That's so a token. So we're doing. Uh, we're gonna start here. This is from uh, from Chewy's Fleas Group. Uh, they have a double sided evade cloak token shaped like the Millennium Falcon. All right. Are you re you ready to read some names, Pedro? Yes. All righty. Let's do three. Let's do this. Oh, 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 oh. No. Got to change the window. Three, two, one. Roll it. Nice. 502 Bull. 502 Bull. Bull. This is yours. Now, a reminder. If you win a giveaway, what you got to do is type exclamation point win. That's W-I-N. In the chat, a link will pop up. You go ahead and click that link and... Uh, fill out the information. I do have to say though, uh, if you don't fill it out correctly or completely, you won't receive the items, mostly because when we ship all these items, it's um, it's done in mass. So we're, ju we're just shipping out envelopes from uh, basically a, uh, a spreadsheet, and if the envelope's blank, we put it in the recycling pile. Oh. So that's, it's, that's just how we do it. So you gotta make sure you guys fill it out correctly. Um, next item, let's go ahead and give away the... Range one ruler. Range one ruler, also from Chewy's Fleas. Let the Wookiee win. Let's see who's gonna win. Three, two, one. Is the Romanian Druid. Romanian Druid, Druid. yeah. Druid. Absolutely. Congratulations. And let's go ahead and uh, we'll save those for later. Let's do some cards. Um, as for patron exclusive giveaways, people are always wondering, what about what are you, what are you going to do special for patrons today? Well, um, so we have a new merch shop that we opened. If you type exclamation point merch in the in the chat, you'll find the link to that. And we have all kinds of designs in there. Uh, some of them are being updated uh, as we go, uh, but basically we're going to be giving away uh, two free items from that shop. Whatever you want. And we'll get in contact with you. We'll get it shipped out. Uh, but, yeah. So, that should be uh, super cool. Uh, Romanian Druid. What was that again? You He's a range one. Ran range one ruler. Ruler from Chewis Fleece Squad. From Argentina and Chewis Fleece Squad. is let the Wookiee win. That's right. Make sure. Be very specific when yes. you guys fill out the form. And so, I know what you're And getting. type exclamation point win. That's right. Let's yeah, see. That's, that's right. The Romanian Druid. Let's see here. I put... I, this is from uh, Radio OCX. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Tarani Kulda in the, in the chemo. That's right, Tarani Kulda. If you guys didn't know, she's a, a, a Rodian uh, female pilot. And um, let's, let's do it. Three, two, one. Roll it. He's Jude Allen 91. Jude Allen 91. Congratulations for the dub. And let's go ahead and do one more before the lunch break. One more. One more. We can do one more. What, what, do, we, what do we pull out here? Here we go. Dead Man, Man Switch. Switch. Dead Man Switch, official FFG alt art Dead Man Switch. Let's get it. Three, two, one. And it's to DJ Satan. No, Satan. Satan, yeah. Satan, yes. Yeah, absolutely. DJ Satan. All right. Congratulations to everybody who won those giveaways. We'll be back at 2 o'clock. 2 o'clock. Local time. That's 40 minutes from now. 
um, for the round three of the Buenos Aires Open here. Yes, we are live in South America, guys. It's cold here. It's winter here. It is winter. <laughs> so um, we came for winter. We came. To, yeah. <laughs> It's one of those things you're like, it's summer. Let's go on vacation to South America. That sounds so nice. Oh, wait. That's not how seasons work. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll be back. Don't forget to – oh, I forgot some, something else. If we hit this goal, I have a painted ship that I'm giving away, and we're going to show that off at the end of round three. Mm, I, I know you want it. We'll be back.